So I have brought some of my colleagues along, not exactly kicking and screaming, but I think it's important for me, just like I had my mentor when I was beginning to, um, to work with other people that have even just the spark of the interest to share with them what I know and to help them along. I've co-authored um, with some other first authors to kind of, you know, in the process of helping them along. So I think that really forming that community of writers is very important for motivation and for um, kind of just bolstering each other up. Find a mentor who can be a source of encouragement and a source of accountability and you know have some communication about what type of support you would like from that author. Even someone they could communicate with electronically just to share to say you know could you help me with this draft here's what I'm thinking I've and that's actually something that I've seen through some of the the papers that I've had a chance to review through the years and have seen initial drafts that could have been much stronger submissions just with some I'm looking at significant issues to be addressed but could be easy fixes with a more senior senior author. I think there's a real place for schools of nursing to find ways to partnership with with clinical agencies. Sometimes we think in terms of well, we're edu they're helping educate our students and we're partnering that way. But how can we support some of their developing scholars in their scholarly work, including authorship? You know, chances are they do have nurses who are doing some good projects in their clinical practice, in their education, and really just need the support and encouragement and feedback from someone who's an experienced author.